Hello, welcome back to Chris's Beer Reviews. It's time for a beer review. It's been a long time <laughs> since I've done a beer review. And we're off to Arbor Brewery out of Bristol who make fantastic beers and they do them in fantastic pint-sized cans. This one is called I Speak for the Trees, American Pale Ale, coming in at 5% ABV. Let's get on with this one. Get it in a glass and have a look. See what it's all about. Not much of a head on that. A little bit left in the glass, in the glass, in the can. Uh, there it is in the in the glass. Uh, very hazy indeed. A little bit of orange colour to it, a little bit of caramel colour to it. Looks very, very nice indeed. Well, let's get on the aromas. Oh, huge pine and citrus. Maltiness, pine, citrus. It smells, it smells like it's gonna have a really, really good body to it. I know that might sound a little bit bizarre, um, but those smells are really quite strong, really quite pungent on that pine. It smells like it's going to be a right up on my street. Oh, huge pine, stone fruit as well. Citrus, pine, stone fruit. That smells absolutely fantastic. Shame there's not much of a head, cheers. Oh, mm. oh, there's sediment in there now. Oh, look, maybe we've got some funky monkeys in there. And if you can see the bit, look at them all. My goodness, it's got it's got even hazier now we've poured that last bit. Look at it, it's like a snow globe going on in there. Um, that's fantastic. As I said about the mouthfeel, the mouthfeel on that, the body on it is tremendous. Oh, that is a really decent beer. Really decent beer. Oh. Just taken aback by actually how good that is. There's elements of West Coast to it with how piney that is and kind of spiky pine bitter finish. It's a bit West Coast like. What was it saying on the back? Refreshing and easy drinking. Brewed of Amarillo, Mosaic, and Simcoe hops. I mean, that is absolutely glorious. That is the citrus, sweet citrus on the front is absolutely delightful. Definitely, definitely an orangey stone, an orangey and stone fruits, that sumery type vibe. It's kind of soft at the beginning and sweet, and then there's kind of like a citrus hit that goes with that sweetness. It's definitely a bit of a type of the malty bill, kind of caramel bill along the middle. And it finishes with an absolutely epic, epic, resinous, piney, bitter finish. That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. However, I think there's a negative to that. God, the mouth feels amazing mouth is just salivating with it the negative i know it's only five percent so it is sessionable but i don't think you could drink many i think it, it's so good it's got so much flavor and so much of that hoppy pine bitterness i think it'd become a bit too much after a couple i think two would be ideal and then move to something maybe a little bit lighter in mouthfeel uh, but if you were just sitting back chilling, watching a TV for the evening and you were drinking some, drinking them slowly, you could probably have more than two. But I think if you're on a bit of a sesh, you've got some friends around, I don't think it's one you could just keep drinking one after the other in a fairly kind of short or, or quick period. You might want to move on to something a bit lighter, but there's no taking away. The conditioning on that is fantastic as well. That is an absolutely glorious beer. Uh, there you go, Arbor, I speak for the trees. American Parallel coming at 5% ABV. Can't remember how much I paid for it. I bought it in a beer shop, but I just cannot remember how much I paid for it. But there you go, fantastic beer. Highly recommend that one. I will see you all soon on another one. Take care, bye.